You're going to want to put your phone down for this story. The man who led the parade at the Arcola Broom Corn Festival is known for always having great phone service. After serving in Korea, he dialed up a gig in the phone repair field. That started a passion and collection that he's still known for today. WCIA3's Emily Braun has his story. For the folks in Arcola, when they've got a phone problem, they know who to ring. <laughs> Meet Ralph Hughes, the man on the other line, who spent his career working up in the lines. The gentleman asked me, says, uh, what do you know about phones? And I said, well, when they ring, you answer them. And he says, you're hard. Thus sparked 40 years in the phone fixing business, helping people get reconnected. But one day, on November 8, 1994... We had an ambulance service at the time, and we were called to the scene of a fall. Lisa Edwards found him broken. It was Ralph, and we all love Ralph. And when we, he obviously had a couple of broken legs. She picked me up, and she held me so tender all the way to the, to the hospital. Ever since then... Our friendship has literally blossomed. And every... November 8th, she gets a rose. I guarantee I've received more flowers from him in the last 22 years than I've received from my husband in 26 years, so. <laughs> Sorry, but, and, and if it was from any other man than Ralph, then Jeff might get a little upset too. The fall didn't bring Ralph down because what was once his living is now his service. I just, you know, take care of the, the people that here in town that needs help. Go ahead and put it on if you want to. Friends say he's a giver. He'll hand you the shirt off his back. Yeah. Or at least out of the bag. Perfect. But one glance through his home will tell you he's also quite a keeper. And it'll ring up a dollar ninety-nine. Just one piece in a massive collection. You walk through this yard and you see a treasure trove of antiques. And some people have even come through with high offers. A lot of what he's got comes from the people whose phones he fixed. I'll see something that's uh, old, that strikes my eye, and I like it, and we're going to chit chat back and forth. And I start getting them old phones, and, and I put the pay phone right on top. A piece here and a piece there. And... You may call him crazy. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's what my dad said. But each piece has a place. When Ralph's not fixing phones, his favorite pastime is playing curator for his homemade museum. And of course, it's Mona Lisa. That was Emily Braun reporting for us tonight. Hughes says he welcomes anyone who stumbles upon his house to come by and take a look around. But as you heard earlier, he says most of his things are not for sale.